Hi guys, it's Lindsay and I'm back with another unboxing for you. Today we are going to be opening a fun box from ThreadUp and it came from Phoenix, Arizona. So I won't lie, I was a little bit disappointed when I got the notification that this was coming from Phoenix just because I've had two great fun boxes from Mechanicsburg and this is my first one that's coming from another warehouse. Um, but we'll see. Uh, the box is super light, so I'm just not really sure what to expect. Um, the price on these is $28, so even if you can get one or two items that are really good, then you'll be able to make your money back on the box. So if this is your first time tuning in, I am a part-time reseller. I only sell on Poshmark currently, um, and I love sourcing my inventory from Thread Up and also the Goodwill Blue Box. And I decided that I would go ahead and film the unboxing so I could share them with everybody. So let's go ahead and get started. So just to give you a first look, I'm already seeing some good stuff in here. So let's take a closer look. This um, beautiful blue is a Gucci beauty. So this is got like a little bit of a magnetic closure. Um, so this is cute. I mean, this would be pretty for, you know, like a little girl to use as a little uh, evening bag or just something to slip inside your purse. I don't know how much this might retail for if it was possibly, you know, a free gift with the beauty purchase or, you know, if it held makeup brushes or something like that, but that's really pretty. So already, maybe I was talking bad about Phoenix for no reason, because that's pretty good. Um, next, we have a little keychain compact wallet. This uh, does have a little bit of staining on the front. Nothing too crazy. It's in like a lime green. And this is um, Saturday. And I can't read the top there. <laughs> I have to get my magnifying glass out for that. Um, but, you know, it seems decent. I don't know, maybe this would go for maybe 10 bucks or something like that. Um, it's got a little coin purse and, you know, perfect spot to put some cash and some cards into. And then you can clip it to your keys or inside your handbag. So, not bad. Uh, next we have a bra and this is new with tags. It's all in motion. So it's a sports bra. This looks nice. Um, this does not have a price on it. Oh, it does. It's $24. This is a Target brand, I believe. And it is a 34 double D. So not too bad. At least it's brand new with tags and it has a nice um, zip front. So super easy to put on. So I'm not mad about that one. Oh, these are cute. They're like a pale pink <clears throat> little like cabin socks. Super cozy. These are um, sequin cable knit slipper socks. 100% acrylic. And they just say they're from home collection. So I can't imagine they're a great brand, but you know, those would certainly be a great stocking stuffer. So those are pretty nice. And next we have a gauze sheer pottery barn teen. I'm assuming this is a throw blanket. I don't see anything that's jumping out that says that, but I can't imagine what else it might be. Unless it's a tablecloth. I did get a tablecloth in my last fun box, but I'm gonna venture to say it's probably a throw blanket. But this is brand new in the package and Pottery Barn's a great brand, so that's pretty nice too. It's just kind of like a beige, so very neutral. <clears throat> and next we do have a jewelry piece, some earrings. These are Talbot's brand, brand new with tags, $29.50. So Phoenix, these are pretty good. 
those are really pretty. I like that, um, that gold on the top and pretty blue. You will notice that, you know, it seems like only Mechanicsburg is the one that does the color coordinated boxes. I've, I've only had two other boxes and they were both from Mechanicsburg and they were all like a, a royal blue or navy and gold theme. And the other warehouses just seem so random, but so far we're getting some pretty good items. So I'm, I'm actually impressed. Um, next we have, I am not sure what this is. It's, is it an oven mitt? Is it like a topper for golf clubs? I don't see any information. There's a, t oh, it's, v it's Vera Bradley. Um, is it like one of those sleeves that you put your hot tools into, you know, like your hair straightener? This, uh, seems like it could use a cleaning. So I'm not sure what this is, but with it being Vera Bradley, it should be relatively easy to look up. It's really dirty on the inside. So I think that's going to have to take a, a ride into the washing machine, uh, but not bad. All right, and next we have some Christmas. Um, <laughs> these are, have a 444 uh, price tag on them. So I'm not really sure that these would be resellable. Um, there are no boundaries. These are a double XL. Um, I don't know, these seem like pretty small for a double XL, unless they're a kid size. It says it's a 19. They're leggings. So yeah, I mean, they certainly don't look like a women's double XL. So that might be something I could keep for myself too. So I don't think those uh, would have much resale value, but they're kind of cute with like the little uh, Christmas truck on them. And we do have one more or two more items. Um, we have a pair of sunglasses. <clears throat> and these are, I don't see a brand on them. So there is a maybe a style number that I could possibly look them up, but I'm not seeing a brand. But they're kind of cute. Maybe something I could keep for myself too. I do wear eyeglasses for like far distance, so I wouldn't be able to, you know, wear these for driving or anything, but just for, you know, like when I'm outside and I'm reading a book or something, I don't wear prescription glasses. So that would work well for something like that. Especially if I can't find a brand, I don't think they would be worth reselling. So those are kind of cute. And um, actually we have two more items. So we we'll keep getting surprised here. So this looks like a Apple watch band. Um, it's just a nylon sport band. It looks brand new, but I don't see, um, like a brand or anything on it. It's certainly not Apple brand. Uh, it's a nylon made in China. Okay. And last but not least is a bra strap. It's purple with glitter. And honestly, this just looks like something that maybe you'd pick up from the dollar store. It seems pretty cheap. Um, so I don't think that's really any resale there, but uh, maybe somebody would want that. I don't know. So just to recap, let's see how many items we got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight with the sunglasses, nine, ten, and eleven. So let me know in the comments below what you think about the box. It's certainly not the best fun box I've opened. 
but I think it was better than I expected. There are a couple good things in there. That Gucci Beauty, you know, I think that would sell. Um, that little wallet, the cabin socks that are brand new with tags and that sports bra. And maybe I can find out what that Vera Bradley is. Maybe that would go for a couple bucks. So I think I'll make my money back on it. It's not going to be a, a profit, um, probably, but it's still fun to take the gamble for the $28. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more content. I am going to attempt to post two videos a week um, with some unboxings. Maybe eventually, once I learn how to edit a video, then I could do a what sold, um, you know, monthly, because I only do this part time, so it wouldn't be enough sales to do weekly. But um, if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know. Um, but thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.